Well, today we are going to be discussing and working through the water cycle. And before I explain your task and what we're going to be doing today, um, I'm going to show you a quick video because we took a little bit of a moment from the water cycle that you can do with your uh, quiz and take care of your quiz corrections. But remember, we were talking about the water cycle. Remember, we grew the water cycle and we labeled it. We made the next little protocol. We opened up different portions and we saw the picture and we knew what that portion of the water cycle was, correct? And then we have various vocabulary words for the water cycle. So in today's lesson and assignment, what you're going to do is be able to understand how the molecules move through the water cycle. So to get our minds back through and get us ready for the activity that you're about to do, let's take a look at a short little animated video about the water cycle. <laughs> Thank 
What would be the um, gag for? Think about what the trees do. They let off. Remember, remember the tree takes Okay, listen to the question instead of yelling out. The trees take in water and they let off it, but in another form. What is that process called, first of all? Respiration. And what do they let off? What form of water? Trees don't let off rain. They don't let off oxygen. They do let off oxygen. That's not the form of water. No. No. That's the form of water. You're not the one Water vapor. And they release water vapor into the air. That's the gas form of water being released into the air. Remember, it's a cycle. So the water is going to go through the entire cycle. So in front of you, you have a paper that looks like this. I'm going to go through what it is that you're going to be doing. In a moment, you're going to be putting all of your books and everything in your book bag and only having this paper because you want to place your book somewhere, you're going to be moving with your book bag because we're not staying in the same location. So, let's go ahead and look at what we're doing. Make sure you put your name and your block number on this. Because when you're finished with this, this will be your form of assessment to show me that you understand the water cycle. You will not be taking a paper and pen test as far as the bubbles and one at the end of this. This is your assessment to show me. All right. First, you're going to write your current location. No, 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 no. Oh, let me, let me explain to you. What you are is you are a... If you notice, you all have a tag that you picked up when you came into class. And, and it, it told you where to sit. Someone raise your hand and not yell out. Give me a form of what you are. Okay. You're a snowflake. Sleep. 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 Raise. Snowflake. Where's that bad? Yeah. L. So that means you all are what? Right? You all are Rachel? You all are precipitation, meaning you are water. That is within this location, and you will be circulating with this classroom. So that means that you are demonstrating the what? The water cycle, because you're going to be circulating through this classroom. So it tells you you're a raindrop moving through the earth. You're actually not a raindrop, you're a water molecule moving through the earth. Step number one is you're going to write your current location in the location box. If you look at your table, you are at location. Raise your hand and tell me an example of the location that you're at. So, so far, you're at the cloud. So if that's your first location that you're at right now, then right here, you're going to write that. If you're listening to this video, then I'm going to give you special instructions to complete this. All right. Number two, do not do it now. I'm going to run through the instructions to tell you what it is that you are going to do, and then I'm going to release you to do it. In a moment, you're going to pick a card from the Ziploc bag, and you're going to complete the action. Do not do it now. When you pick your card, it may say, it may tell you something. It may say, you have landed on something, 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 move to the mountain. So you read the action. You write your action, saying what it tells you that you're doing. And then it says, uh, pick your card, write your action in the action box. Number four, write your new location given from the card. It tells you where to go. So it says if your raindrop landing on the earth move to the mountain, then your new location is going to be mountain. Then it tells you at the very end, it says describe what part of the water cycle you have demonstrated. Part of the water cycle could be what? Give me something. Evaporation, precipitation, condensation. Transpiration, runoff, those are parts of the water cycle, the route that you're taking. That's where you're going to put here for number six. When I give the signal, and only when I give the signal, will you move. Even though you're done, you're not getting up and moving yet. I will ring the bell and say cycle. When I ring the bell and I say cycle, you must take all of your belongings and move to your new location. Then you will complete the process again because it is a Cycle. So you will start right back from number one, writing your location, going through your action, writing uh, your new location, and describing the route. I will then say cycle, and you will move. 
We'll do that about eight times through, so you have enough there. Let me describe what's going to happen after that. If you look at the bottom of your paper, down here, I want you to change something. It says, off the back, draw a diagram of your entire journey. Let's cross this off. And you're going to write, create. Good, so far. Create a fit strip comic. Create a fit strip comic. Illustrating. What does illustrating mean? Drawing or showing. Illustrating your journey. So you're not drawing it on the back. You are going to do a uh, computer to create a fit strip. We all remember to do fit strips, right? Okay. You're going to illustrate your journey. And what does that mean? You're going to create a comic. So let me quickly go there. When you are at that point, and we all will get at that point at the same time because we are not rotating and thinking of the word what? Cycle. And once we're finished at that cycle and this may carry over, then we'll get the laptop and you'll log in to this just like we've been doing and I'll have the login information up here. And your activity, I want to just give you a heads up on what it's going to be before you actually get to it. After completing the around and round and both water cycle activity, which is what we're going to be doing, you're going to make a cartoon illustrating the path you took. You must have at least five panels. Raise your hand and tell me what a panel is. The little square boxes. <laughs> now, you are going to eventually have a total of how many, not looking at this, how many locations are you going to be able to visit? I'm going to say eight locations, but I'm only asking you to illustrate how many? Five locations. So you're going to have five panels. And within the panel, maybe you will demonstrate two things that you did within that panel. So if you've met the mountain and you've also met the stream, you can possibly put that in one panel. So although you went to eight locations, you may be able to show two of those locations in one panel. Does that make sense? Okay, good. All right. Number two, each panel must have a caption with at least one water cycle vocabulary. Why do you think I'm asking you to do this? What did I say that this assignment was at least one vocabulary? You need to write about the caption? I'm going to tell you to know that. So I can know that you know this is your form of what? This is your form of assessment, not for you. You're not making a bubble scan drawing. You're going to show me. That you understand by showing me the water cycle. Now, do we experience the water cycle on a day to day basis? Yes. yes. Okay. So, how many of you watched the news yesterday or this morning so that you can know what you have to wear? Marquise, what did they say that was going to uh, affect what you're going to put on today? Okay, it was cold. So, they're outside? Okay, so they told you that there's a possibility of what? Work. Precipitation. It's possibly going to rain or snow. They're telling us about precipitation. So these are your vocabulary words that you are going to include in your caption. They're also up there. And when you go into this script and you look at your assignment, this will stay on each panel so you will see so you're not mistaken on what you're going to do. Any questions? Okay. In a moment, I'm going to have you. This concludes the video lesson.